Addition versus subtraction, what we mean by an inverse relationship. First of all, the big question is, what does inverse mean? Well, inverse means the opposite or reverse of something else. In maths, we have four operations. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. In these four operations, there are two inverse relationships. Addition and subtraction are opposite of each other, and so is multiplication and division. But let's take a closer look at addition and subtraction today. Addition is adding two or more things together to try and find out the total amount. For example, five eggs in the nest plus two more eggs gives us seven eggs altogether, which is the total amount. We also can call the total amount the sum. In addition, we're trying to find out the sum total. On the other hand, subtraction, we know the total amount and we're trying to find out how much is left after we take some away. For example, we have seven eggs in the nest and we take two eggs away, which leaves us with five eggs. The answer in subtraction is what we call the difference. This is how much is left. Addition and subtraction are opposite of each other. In addition, we're always adding more, and our answer is always greater than what we started with. In subtraction, the opposite is true. We always have less as our answer than what we started with. Let's have a look at an example of addition using pictures. We have one marble in the jar, and we're going to add nine more. Now we have ten marbles in the jar. One marble plus nine more gives us 10. Now let's look at subtraction. We have 10 marbles in the jar and we're going to take away 9 marbles. The answer we get is less than what we started. We now have one marble left in the jar. Let's have a closer look at those two problems. 10 take away 9 gives us 1 and 1 plus 9 gives us 10. These two number sentences are exact opposites of one another. 10 is at the start of the subtraction problem, and 10 is at the end of the addition problem. Addition and subtraction are exact opposites of one another. If we know this, we can use it to help us solve other problems. Let me show you how. 5 take away 2 is 3. I can use this knowledge to help me solve another problem. 3 plus 2. Let's add a picture to show what's happening. If I have five marbles in my tens frame and I take two blue marbles away, I have three left. If I then reverse what I've done, I now have three purple marbles. I add the two marbles I took away back on and I'm left now with five marbles altogether. So if five take away two gives us three, the reverse is three plus two gives us five. An addition problem can reverse my subtraction problem. If there are 10 birds in a tree all together and seven of them fly away, then I'm left with only three birds. Let's do the reverse of that. There are now three birds and seven birds come back. I now have 10 birds all together. The addition is the opposite of the subtraction. If I have 12 penguins on the ice and four of the penguins dive in to fish, then I have eight penguins left on the ice. Let's do the reverse. There are eight penguins. If four come back, then I now have 12 penguins on the ice altogether. Now that I know you can reverse the numbers, I can use that to solve problems. 60 take away 40 is 20. So I can use that to solve 20 plus 40. 20 plus 40 must be 60 because that's the reverse of the subtraction. Now we understand that relationship, we can start using fact families. Fact families are where you use the same numbers and just move them around within number sentences. For example, 5 plus 8 equals 13. The addition always ends with the total. Or we could say 8 plus 5 equals 13. We've used the same numbers to create a new number sentence for addition. Now let's try subtraction. We know subtraction always starts with the total, so we pop 13 at the start of the number sentence. We now use the other two numbers in our fact family, 8 and 5. So 13 take away 8 gives us 5. Again, we make a new subtraction number sentence. 
starting with 13 because that's our total. 13 take away 5 gives us 8. We've now created four number sentences using three numbers, reminding us that addition and subtraction have an inverse relationship.